Perfect. Perfect. Today we are doing this red graphic liner look. I love it so much and it's just in time for a Valentine's, hence the reason the color red. So um, if you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned. Okay, spinning some Hennessy and passion fruit and we're jumping straight into this tutorial. So I'm going to prime my face using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm basically applying this to the center of my face and I'm going to spread it out to the rest of my face. The center of my face has larger pores so I like focusing and pressing it in that area of my skin. This just helps the foundation to go over real smooth and nice. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I'm going to set the oily areas with my Colourpop uh, Banana Powder. This just helps to keep my oils at bay better than a primer. Using my Catrice liquid coverage in these two colors, and I'm gonna add a drop of oil into it. I'm gonna, I wanted to thin it out a little bit because it's sort of, it's very full coverage and it sets to a nice matte finish. It's, I find it very comparable to the Fenty Beauty um, foundation. It's such a great foundation, but I just want to go in with a little less and build, layer it. And I'm just buffing that into my skin with my uh, flat foundation brush. And I've been going with less foundation lately and layering and I've been adding less in my forehead also just to avoid any creasing. So if you have problems with creasing, uh, that's something you can do. Then I'm going to go with my beauty sponge and really press that into my skin. This is just going to make my skin look as one with the foundation and absorb any excess foundation in my creases. and brows bam brows are done i'm gonna conceal with my uh can't stop won't stop uh concealer and i'm gonna mix that with the catrice uh, camouflage um concealer as well just to add a little more highlight and dimension it smells so good i love the scent <laughs> and as usual i'm blending the, the center off with a brush because my face is very small <laughs> And I'm gonna blend the rest off with my beauty sponge. And I'm also applying some of that over my eyes because this is gonna act as a base for my shadows later. Sipping and gin and juice. <laughs> I'm using my Colourpop concealer in a darker shade and I'm gonna apply that to my contour areas, the areas where I want to look more defined and blend that out with a brush. Then I'm using the same Colourpop powder and I'm pressing it into the areas where I conceal. I'm making sure it's, it's well synced and dissolved into my skin. And after that, I'm going to bake the areas where I get oily, which is the size of my nose, my chin, my, my, um, my forehead. And this is also going to help me to shape my nose and give me a slimmer looking nose. Using my NYX a powder foundation, I'm using a puff and I'm going to press that in everywhere I did not apply the banana powder. I've been liking doing this trick lately because it helps the areas with the banana powder to stay highlighted, which is what I want. Then I'm going to contour with my Wet n Wild contour palette and I'm doing the same thing. I'm more pressing and then blending because I want everything to stay in place. I don't want all the work I did underneath to move. And I'm using that same powder to define my nose even more yeah then i'm using this nyx contour uh duo with a very small definer brush and it's a cooler color so i'm using that to further define my cheekbones and to blend it into the warmer color that i use i personally prefer to use warmer colors but the cooler color would help my cheekbones look more defined Then I'm just going to carve out and neaten that contour. I'm taking it from the top of my ears and bringing it all the way to the bottom of my 
um, my bottom lip to help neaten up the contour. Now I'm dusting off the powder and blending it in at the same time. I'm, I'm going in circular motions because I want to dust the excess off, but I still want to set it in and make sure it dissolves well into my skin. Using my Flower Beauty blush, I love this blush so much. And um, a fan brush, and I'm applying it from the back of my ears first, where I want most of the pigment to lay, and then I'm bringing the excess forward onto my cheeks and blending that well into my contour as well. Using my Jim Shaw's palette, I'm going to just lay a base down. I'm using this color Tune and just putting it all over my lid, patting it in. And when it's um, placed, I'm just going to be blending it and buffing it off so that everything is blended and that we have no harsh lines. No harsh lines, people. Blend the rules. Then I'm going with a shimmer color face and I'm just doing the same thing with that I did with the first one. Place it down and just buff it off. Using my liquid, my Wooby Woo lipstick and a liner brush. Yes, we can use lipsticks on our eyes and stuff like that. I'm going to map out my wing. I'm first drawing a line out to the corner of my eyes. And then I'm taking that line three quarter way and drawing it inwards towards the inner corner of my eyes. I'm also going to connect that line to the inner corners and about quarter way on my inner corner on my bottom lash, if that makes sense. The wing is very difficult to explain. So you have to look to see what it is I'm doing. It's more of a look thing and um, see how it works for you. I have two different eyes. You may not see that, but my wings are slightly different because I have to do them different because one eye is hooded more than the other. So this takes time and practice. Then I'm looking forward straight in my mirror and I'm carving out the line to the top. You want to look forward when you're doing a double line like that because you want when your eyes are opened that you could see the line as well. And I have slightly hooded eyes, so I want that to be over the hood of my eyes. So make sure you're looking straight into a mirror and not down because you want the, the um, you want to see it. And I'm just connecting it to the end of the bottom line that I created. Then I'm lifting my eyebrow up slightly when I have the shape that I want and I'm neatening and perfecting the line even more. This takes time, but it's worth it in the end. And here I'm doing it again on my other eye and I'm doing it so that you could see what I did on the first eye. I first draw the where I want it to be and then I'm going to fill that in. Next, I'm using the color You're Kidding, and I'm going to set that base. The lipstick is a cream lipstick. Whenever you're using creams, you want to set that so that it does not move, that it will last all day or all night wherever you placed it. Always um, bear that in mind. You have to set your creams whenever you use that. So I'm setting that and just mapping it over, and it's also going to help me to perfect the line even more and to create more pigment and make the red even brighter. Oh, I love that liner so much. <laughs> Purchase your tracks today. Now that I have that, I'm using some concealer that's very close to the color of my skin, and I'm going to even perfect the line even more. I'm going to neaten it up even more. And you barely see the, con the color of the concealer, because I just want to just make it look a little more crisp. <laughs> crisp looking. So I'm doing that to the top and the bottom wing. And it's very important to use a color that's close to your skin tone so that you don't have to blend too much. Just mesh with everything very nice. Now that I have that line, I'm using a pencil brush and I'm blending underneath the line. I'm not going over it. I'm keeping it underneath just to create a little uh, softness. I don't want the line to be too rigid. 
and then i'm using that same brush and i'm dipping it in the red shadow and i'm just buffing it from the outside to the inner inner corners of my eyes close to the middle of my eyes i just want to create a nice gradient and a nice fade with the red i don't want it to be too pigmented i want you to see definition with the lines that i that i drew first so i'm just buffing it lightly and the, the pencil brush is giving me more control and it's picking up the pigment very light with red i always think black is a necessity so i'm just lining my waterline with some black liner and i'm gonna set that with some uh, black shadow as well because red can make your eyes look sick so you kind of want something to make it look more awake and then i'm just buffing off the edges so that is what seamless <laughs> perfect i did set my face with my morphe setting spray and i'm letting that dry and i'm going in with my milani highlight and applying that to the tops of my cheeks and i'm bringing the excess underneath my brow bone and i'm mostly placing it and not blending it too much as yet i'm doing it on the top of my cheek my chin and everything and i'm topping that off with my shayla loose highlight I love that highlight so much. It just makes everything pop. I'm going in with this lavender shade from the Carly, um, Carly Bibel palette. And I'm just applying it to the center of my nose and highlight my inner corners as well. And also my Cupid's bow. I've been loving using this lavender shade. It just adds such a nice dimension. Then I did spray my face and I'm going to tap everything in. And that's why I didn't blend my highlight too much. Because I'm going to press that into my skin so it looks like one with my skin. Tons and tons of black mascara. Like I say, I think black is an absolute necessity when creating colors like that. I'm coating my top lashes for my uh, lashes, which are very wispy and long, but not too thick. I don't think thick lashes will complement this eye too well because you don't want to cover up all the work you just did. So keep the lashes very long and flirty and curvy because you want your eye look to show. Using my BFF3 lip liner, I'm lining my lips and filling them in like, um, like more like quarter way. I'm bringing it all the way over my lips and I'm going to go over the edges with a darker uh, brown, just very close to my actual lip line. This is just going to create more definition and more ombre and contrast. Because I want to use a lip color that is nude, but I don't want the nude to be too peachy or too pinky. So I'm using my uh, Peach Stock MAC lipstick because it's a nice beige undertone, which I think complemented the eyes very well. And I'm using my lip brush and blending the lip liner with the lipstick so that everything is uh, blended and there's a nice gradient and you still have this darker outer corner. And I'm going to top that off with some lip gloss, my Bare Minerals Yes lip gloss. And blend. Blending is key. And that's a completed look. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I had fun creating it and I totally, totally love it. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye. So that's it guys. That's the completed look. My red liner look. I've just been loving red a lot lately. You can definitely use any color you choose to create a look like this oh i'm in love and i would totally go out like this totally totally go out like this so if you're new here hi my name is rachel welcome to my family i upload every sunday and wednesday everything i use will always be in my description box so be sure to check that out all the links to my social media everything i am a nail technician and a makeup working artist out here in brooklyn so be sure to check the um description box of how to book me if you like what i'm doing here on youtube and check out everything so uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so that you do not miss the uploads like comment and share it really really helps and i really appreciate it help me to reach the millions i one day hope to reach here on this platform and let's help me to continue to change the world one face at a time so i'll see you in my next tutorial on wednesday <laughs> bye